now Alexander Rossi will become the new leader of this race with Elio Castro Nevis in second. There's Rossi in the 98. Graham Rahal is a lap down to him. Rahal in the red car right behind him. And we have three laps to go. The question is, was he gentle enough on the fuel mileage to be able to make it to the end? He last pitted at 164, 36 to go. Much like the other guys did at lap 164, they came in, was he far enough back, and like I said, soft enough on the gas pedal to maybe not have to come in for the splash of fuel. He looks like he's starting to run just a slower pace, guys. 214 that last lap. Tony Kanal was about 221. Two laps to go. Can a rookie win the 500 on an economy run? What a story that would be. Everybody go. He had a half a lap lead on Carlos Munoz, who came off the pit lane ahead of those who were the leaders. He's coming to the white flag. One more lap to go. Half a lap lead, half a lap lead. Clutching coast. Great fuel. Clutching coast. Boy, I'm just thinking about Robbie Gordon running out of gas back in 1999. There's Munoz in the blue and black car. He and Newgarden are going to race for second at the moment, unless Rossi runs out of fuel. He's off of turn two. He's half a lap to go. Messages, you're now going too slow. He's done it. first-timer is going to win the 100th Indianapolis 500-mile race, California's Alexander Rossi, to the checkered flag, and he's done it! offseason they hired Alexander Rossi to drive they just engineered the strategy that has won them the Indianapolis 500 I heard it. you won with Dan Weldon this way a few years ago now you've come back with Alexander Rossi you've taken a rookie to the win here at the Indy 500 how did you do it <laughs> you know what everything has to go right here you know I want to I, I want to thank DW and you know, the time we had here in 2011, this is unbelievable. Uh, you know, I thank, uh, I thank all sponsors now, Bottle Parts, Castro, everybody that came on board. But man, it was so it was so close at the end. And for a rookie to drive with the poise he did in such a tough situation, I, mean, I was telling him, don't let anybody pass you, but save fuel. And he did it, 
and uh, we won again. And I'll, I'll tribute to Alex, Mike Landretti, the whole team. I mean, we worked so well together this month, and I was hoping one of us would win, and I was hoping to be us. And, amen, it did. You're on your way to Victory Circle, young. And of course, that car is co-owned by Michael Andretti. I know it wasn't a great day for Marco, but how exciting to bring Ryan Herta in, former driver of yours, and now to win the Indy 500, the 100th run. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm proud of Brian. They did a great job with their strategy, obviously, and, and it paid off. And, but to get a 1-2 finish in the 100th running of the Indy 500, pretty good. Congratulations. The Andretti luck turned around this time. It did, it did, you know, thank you, it was great, you know, I'm just so happy for everybody on the team, I'm so happy, to, you know, we brought uh, these guys on board, you know, we brought uh, uh, UFD on his back, and and uh, so we are just uh, so happy, Napa, Napa's name I was trying to think about. That's because he's vibrating. I'm so happy, yeah, so, uh, it's so awesome. Congratulations, awesome job, they're just obviously thrilled down here, Alan. I would say so. So 36 laps on fuel, which is an extraordinary number here at Indianapolis. He has no more to get back to victory lane without assistance. But Alexander Rossi climbing out of his car and waving at the fans up there in turn four uh, is uh, certainly worthy of a Firestone moment of the race as he'll be towed in to victory lane. What an extraordinary victory. Incredible. I, I'm, I'm speechless. And you know, this is really no fluke because you think about it, he was almost in the fast nine in qualifying. So for a guy that's just coming to Indianapolis, he did a tremendous job. Carlos Munoz, obviously very upset for finishing second. I've lived that, I understand that. So Rossi who left the United States to go to Europe as a child to pursue a career in Formula One, came back to race in the IndyCar Series this year, and on his first try, he wins the Indianapolis 500, our Firestone moment of the race, as he made the fuel last just enough to stay out in front and get across the finish line.